Hi, this is Paul with Team Vergadamo and EXP Realty. And uh, welcome to another episode of Today in Tampa Bay. Today, we are very proud to feature the owner of the El Cerrito Mexican restaurant in Newport Ritchie, Armando Garcia. How are you today, Armando? All right, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, El Cerrito is what I call a hidden gem in the area. It's a place that a lot of folks don't know about, but uh, will know about. They've been here for a number of years. We're going to talk to uh, Armando for a second. And I've got to tell you, Denise and I absolutely love Mexican food. And usually when we go out for Mexican food, uh, if the drinks are good, doesn't matter how the food is. Well, when we found this place, I've got to tell you, the drinks are exceptional and the food is even better. Armando, can you tell us how long you've been here? We've been over here for five years. We started in May of 20, uh, let me remember, May of 2017. And what, what, what brought you to, to this particular location? Why did you open up the restaurant here? Well, because I have more restaurants in Virginia. So I get tired to be in Virginia for all, like, what, like, I forgot, 10 or 15 years. So as I start to move out of the state, so that's why I opened this restaurant over here in Florida. And, and how did you find this location? What made you move here? Well, because I come once to clear water for vacations, and I don't find good Mexican, fo- uh, like good Mexican food around, so that's why. Well, I can tell you, we have not mm-hmm. found good Mexican food around. Denise and I, a lot of times, will go to Las Vegas for good Mexican food. To Las Vegas. And because we, we frequent Las Vegas a lot, and we just have not found a good re- Mexican restaurant until we found your place. And we, we absolutely love it. The menu is very diverse. It's, it's great. How did you get into the restaurant business? Well, I started with my uncle like 20 years ago, I'm not sure. So I love to work in restaurants, so that's why I have this business. Okay, that's great. Mm-hmm. And when you came in here, you, you decorated this place yourself to, to look like this? Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, yeah. It really looks authentic. How long are you going to keep doing this? Do you, you, I mean, you probably, not, right? probably another five years. Another five years. Five or ten more years. Yeah, everything depends. Well, you heard it here first, folks. He's going to be here another five or ten years. So you need to get in here and enjoy the food while he's while he's here. This food is incredible. And the thing, one of the things that I like most about this restaurant is that if there's something on the menu or something that's not on you on the menu, they'll make it for you. I mean, I'm particular. I like my chimichangas with chorizo and shrimp. Not a problem. Go to a lot of other restaurants and say, well, we can't do that. There's no substitutions. These folks go out of their way. The service is incredible, and it's about as authentic as, as they get. Um, what would you like to say to your, your customers out there? Well, thank you very much, because we've been over here for, like like I said, five years, and they support all the time. This has been very, very well, especially when the pandemic happened, like, what, two years ago? Thank you to all the customers. We will be posting the address and the information for El Cerrito. And please, come in and frequent them. Once you come in here, you'll be hooked. I mean, we've been here four times in the last two weeks. And uh, we're here again. And when we're meeting friends, family, anybody from out of town that wants Mexican food, this is the place to go. There is no Mexican restaurant like El Cerrito. Okay, well, thank you for watching this episode of Today in Tampa Bay. Uh, El Cerrito is the place to be for Mexican food. Now, if you have a business or you know of anybody that has a business that would like to be featured on one of our upcoming episodes of Today in Tampa Bay, please let us know and we will make it happen. And of course, if you know of anybody looking to buy or sell their home or any other real estate, please get in touch with us because in real estate, who you hire truly does matter.